Hello, I'm here today to tell you a little bit about an invasive plant in Pennsylvania, purple loosestrife. Purple loosestrife uh, is a perennial plant. It grows about four to six feet tall, and this is its typical habitat. Riverbanks along places like here in the Susquehanna, lake margins, wet ditches, uh, wetlands and wet meadows are typically the places you'll find purple loosestrife. It is found in just about every county in the Commonwealth. In terms of identification, uh, the most obvious characteristic, of course, are the flowers. In July and August, you'll find this species in flower. When you're looking at these flowers, it typically has six petals, usually a light pink to purple color with yellow in the middle of the flower. Uh, a lot of times folks do see pollinators and honeybees, bumblebees on these flowers. They can get nectar and pollen from these flowers, but since it's not native, it's not providing the same nutrition that a native plant's pollen or nectar would to pollinators. Another characteristic when it's not in flower is the stem of this plant. It's typically square, so if you run your fingers along it, you'll feel four corners or edges. In Pennsylvania, this is what we see often on riversides that are invaded with purple loosestrife. It's beginning to take over this entire riverbank, working its way not only up the hill, but also downstream. Each plant can produce hundreds of thousands, if not millions of seeds. And these seeds can be carried by the water downstream. They're deposited on the riverbanks during high water or flood events, and then begin to germinate the next year. The easiest way to get it off your property is to dig them out by hand with a shovel, bag the entire plant, throw it in the trash. If there's a lot of plants, you can cut off all the flower stems, bag those and throw those away to reduce the amount of seed that could germinate next year. For larger populations, if you wish to use chemical control, we recommend an aquatic labeled glyphosate product. But extreme care should be taken in using any herbicide near water bodies or near wetlands. If you do find this plant on your property and you'd like more information, please reach out to the Pennsylvania Bureau of Forestry, the Department of Agriculture, or your local conservation district.